now we've got our Pac-Man, first we want to make him move around the maze depending on what key we press. First though, we need to make sure he fits around the maze because at the moment my Pac-Man's too big to go around go in these gaps. So I'm going to use the shrink sprite tool like that, select it and click on him to make it make him smaller. Now, when I'm when I think I've got it about right, I'm going to deselect that tool by clicking anywhere else and I'm just going to test by moving Pac-Man around. See, so he's a little still a little big there, isn't he? So I'm going to make him just a tiny bit smaller. There we go. And just test around your maze to make sure so he's not going to fit through that gap either. So we need to shrink him a bit more. This is why making the space is nice and big in your maze at the start is quite important. There we go. That looks like he'll fit around most of the maze. Now you only need to do that for one costume because if you look, when you do it to one, it applies to the other. Um, so if I click the flag now, see, both costumes stay the same size. So once we've done that, we're going to write a script so that when I press the right arrow key, um, basically the Pac-Man's going to move to the right. So here we go. What I need again is my green flag in the same script panel for the same sprite. When um, and I need a forever loop again, and I need a an if. So where's my if? Here we go. Forever if. Now. Where am I? Sorry, it's sensing, isn't it? If the key is pressed, so I want to drop that in there. So when flag click forever, if, and drop the blue key is pressed. Now I don't want the space key to be pressed. I want to drop that down. I want this to be the right arrow. And motion point in direction. There we go. And move five steps. So I'll change that to be five. The smaller you make that number, the smoother the movement you will have. So now if I press if I click the green flag, that script starts to run, starts munching, and if I press the right arrow, he moves across the screen. What we want to do is write scripts like this for the up arrow, the down arrow, the left arrow as well. Now that might take us a bit of time, so there's a little cheat if I right click this and choose duplicate, I get the same script. Now all I need to do is change that from right arrow to left arrow. And instead of pointing direction 90, I want minus 90. And if you drop that down, it tells you. There you go. So now my right arrow and my left arrow key should work. So my left arrow, he's gone upside down. And my right arrow is turned the right way up. But at least he's moving. Now to stop that upside down happening, over here with the sprite selected, I'm going to click only face left and right, like that. Now if I try it, away he goes, left and right. I haven't done up and down yet, I'm not going to do up and down because that's your challenge. So have a go at writing these scripts to make Pac-Man move around for right arrow, left arrow, up arrow and down arrow.